We're going to be having some uh, turbulent conditions, but today we are here in the beautiful. <laughs> What's Ollie doing? I've caught him red handed. Do that again, Ollie. <laughs> that was hilarious. <laughs> Let's go! The Ferrari is coming in last! Good afternoon, my friends, and welcome back to another video here in the beautiful country of India. And as you can see, I am currently located in the backwaters here of Kerala. And me and my good friend over here, Ollie. Hello, hello. which you would have seen in some of the episodes or all of the episodes here in India we are about to embark on this thing here which is basically called kind of a houseboat which we're going to be on for the next four to five hours and we're going to be cruising across these beautiful waters here of Kerala and hopefully seeing some of the jungle vibes we're going to have some food on board and hopefully we get to meet some of the locals but wow I can't wait to go on this I've seen it in the pictures and everything and uh, yeah it's just time to board let's go and also guys if you are new here don't forget to subscribe because you do not want to miss out on any videos here in India and also around the world so guys let's get the video started in this video we'll embark on a remarkable journey exploring the beauty of Kerala's backwaters on a luxurious boat Kerala's backwaters and network of enchanting canals, rivers and lagoons is a true gem of South India. My name's Yad and I'm from the UK. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and let today's adventure begin. All right, my friends, let's uh, embark on to our boat and let me show you around a little bit of this place. So as you walk in, we've got like this huge kind of a dining area what it looks like nice little dining place and we've got the front where the driver is he's got his little steering wheel I just want to show you around these rooms we've got fairly kind of a good sized room here so if you wanted to stay overnight it's super super I wouldn't say luxury but almost kind of semi luxury because you've got your own bed on this amazing bamboo boat with this incredible view outside I mean you can't really complain and also let's see how comfortable the bed is oh it's actually not bad it's quite hard but also soft mattress at the same time i could easily spend a whole night on here for sure and uh, we also have not a bad view just out here we've got all the other boats all the other people just relaxing enjoying themselves and let's have a look at the bathroom to see what that's like oh see we're swaying a little bit so we have got like a toilet here oh, it looks kind of good condition we've got the bum washer we've got the tap look at that everything works fine even got a shower a little bit rusty if i must say so myself but i mean look you're on a boat just for like one day it's the end of the world you've got a shower you've got your place to wash your face toilet palm washer and even a decent sized double bed so if you guys wanted to do like a romantic getaway why not this would be perfect or even with a family like it's just so so nice and in here we've got a fan and there is AC but it's not currently working so I'm not too sure if that's um, there's something wrong with it but I did see when you were to book these boats you have two options one is super deluxe or something like that or the normal one is just like a normal boat which doesn't come with AC and that's the one we booked so I'm guessing maybe that's why the AC doesn't work you think you have to pay like an additional I think it was like $50 or something to have the air conditioning I guess it makes sense because it burns more petrol And we even have some like cupboard space here. So there we go. We've got some uh, something to hang your, oh, I don't say hang because there's no hangers. But we've got some like cupboards up there. I mean, a little bit dirty. Could do with a bit of a sprinkle, a little clean. Um, and we also, oh, look at these guys. Whoa, there you go. It's not something you see outside your window every day. But yeah, let's, uh, let's carry on our adventure on our boat and see what else we can find. literally massive oh we have the kitchen oh hello my friend hello. namaste namaskar namaste. 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 so brother you are the chef you the chef yeah, uh, making good food yeah. what's your name brother um, satir 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 ah okay satir what are you making so we've got our uh, brother here satir he's gonna be uh, cooking up for us yes brother <laughs> let's have a little walk to the front of the boat what do we have oh look at this I feel like we're gonna be uh, 
uh, on the Titanic coming to the front of the boat, just like this. So we actually picked to do this tour around uh, 3 p.m. because they actually wanted us to do this at a, around 12 p.m., which is the hottest time of the day. But one thing I learned about being in Kerala, India, around this time of year, come outside your house after 3 to 4 p.m. because you get that more relaxed sunshine and it's not so hot. So yeah, the weather is just perfect right now. And we got the boys, we got Ollie here, on, yeah, all on board, yeah? All Ready? good. You going for a nap? Go to bed. You're gonna go I to sleep? Want to check, I want to check out the rest of the boat. Yeah, go enjoy. And uh, we have our guy here, Siju. Siju. Siju, we've got Siju here, the brother. He's gonna be joining us, so just to introduce you guys to some of the people that we are with today. So Siju is gonna be uh, helping us understand a little bit of some of the areas. So typically, guys, um, as I was saying, you usually do this boat from 12 p.m. right usually yeah, usually it's 11 to 5 11 to 5 11 okay to 5 so you get roughly six hours guys to do this tour but because it's so hot yeah like it's I was saying yeah it's too hot that's why I said yeah. 3 p.m. is good yeah, yeah, right? good three four hours is enough right yeah yeah so uh, let's go guys let's uh, show you around a little bit more of this place we have our captain captain Jack Sparrow Bangladesh Whoa, that is some loud horn, brother. So guys, we have got Bangladesh here, our captain. Bangladesh, Bangladesh he is the captain today. Bangladesh, You are the captain today, brother? Yes. <laughs> wow, this is so beautiful, guys. So we're literally just sailing off now in the middle of the backwaters here of Kerala. And we've got other kind of these bamboo looking style boats. I think uh, they're made out of bamboo and wood all together. And we've got some uh, other materials, how they're made out of. I'm going to ask the guys, I don't want to keep blabbering on and get it wrong. But yeah, we're literally cruising through the waters here. We've got birds in the sky. So guys, we've got kind of all these boats parked up here. And it looks like some people are living on it, like the ones that work there overnight. And then, but most of them are owned by kind of the hotels or the resorts basically and that's where you can come and rent these out. I'll leave some details in the description actually on how you can actually book this if you come to Kerala yourself because honestly it's such a pleasant experience and we've been doing a lot of things so far here in Kerala but I think this is definitely one of the nicest because being amongst all this uh, beautiful scenery. Hey Oli, it's good isn't it? Yeah. Enjoying it? It's really nice. How are you finding yeah. it? I love it so far, yeah. yeah. I'm just drooling on the food right there. That's yeah. that's the thing I'm super excited for. Yeah, it's really food. cool. Sitting here, half shade, half sun. Yeah. I, um, I really think it was a good idea for us to start this late now. And we've got some I'm locals here. Hello! <laughs> uh, living the life, oh, these people. Yeah, all right. Hello, everybody! <laughs> Namaskar! We got, uh, we got two crazy YouTubers here. One from London, one from Norway. It's like, yeah, just, we're, we're not drawing any attention yeah, by just, having like two massive cameras. We're just literally screaming across this peaceful river, like, hello everybody. But we're just bringing the vibes, you know? We yeah. need vibes out here. It's kind of, it's very chill here. It's nice and cozy, the vibe here. Look yeah. at that, we got both angles. We got both angles, yeah. So cut, guys, cut, cut, cut. <laughs> life of a YouTuber, guys. Our chef that you just saw a moment ago has prepared an absolute storm for us. Absolute, absolute. <laughs> so we got some rice. Got some. Uh, this is like thick rice. Yeah. It's like not pillar rice. No, no, no small rice. It's uh, bowl rice. Bowl rice. Ah. I have some rice like this before. It's uh, Kerala special rice. Oh, is it? Yeah. Ah. So guys, we're in Kerala. Kerala special rice. Thick. Really thick. Yes, really. Is it fatty? Like more fat? More fat. <laughs> <laughs> and what do we have here? Like this chicken. Chicken like curry yeah. or chicken? Uh, yeah, chicken, chicken curry. Chicken curry. Mini gravy. Okay. And here we have some kingfish. Then uh, kingfish. Kingfish. Okay. And what's this one? Calamari. Have you ever done calamari? We got the main man here, the chef. He's going to yeah. tell us. He's the chef. He's the chef, but maybe you can translate for him because he doesn't speak much English. Um, Dan Devad. Danny Vat, how do you say thank you? Danny. 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 Thank you, brother. And uh, thank this, you very much. This one is a uh, dal. Yeah, samba. Samba. Yeah. Okay. And this is like cabbage. 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 Okay. Yeah. Wow. And this one? It's beans and beans. 
beans and carrot were all yes. Uh, this then, was the dog? Yeah. This is potato. Oh, it's, okay. it's aviel, same for Kerala. aviel, Kerala special. Kerala yeah. special, okay. 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 Kerala special. This is like a poppadom? This poppadom. Poppadom, wow. So my friends, we are about to indulge in a Kerala special meal here in the midst of the boat with the team. Everybody hungry? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let's cello and eat. Cello, cello. We have got this uh, beautiful Kerala rice, which is a the thick rice. And we're going to give it a little try. Maybe we'll wait all. We've got some nice veggies coming. And I actually want to try the rice a little bit raw, see how it tastes. Mm. Mmm, yeah, delicious. <laughs> Thank you, brother. Thank you so much. Okay, guys, so they basically helped put all the gravy on there. We've got some of the Kerala uh, potatoes, the Kerala rice, and some chicken all on here. So let's give it a taste. It's not too spicy, no spice. Mm. Everything that we've had so far, I think definitely has had quite a bit of spice in it. Yeah. So it's nice to actually have something a little bit more on the blander side, but it has a lot of flavor. Yeah. And, the, like, and the thing is, like a lot of the, the the spicy things here, they just take you by surprise because, like, sometimes it can be the rice, but it's like yeah. within the rice as well. Exactly. You don't expect it; it just hits you at the end, like right at the back of your tongue. But yeah. you say, uh, Sinju, that here this is um, Kerala food is more less spicy or more spicy? No, it's more spicy, but it's making for corners coming to the special. Ah, so you know to make. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, okay. Not too spicy, yeah. So they know to not make the foreigners uh, get too, too much sick, because otherwise you're going to be in the toilet. It's not good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, my friends, that is that delicious, delicious food officially finished. So guys, we're now over in uh, Vembanara Lake, just basically parked up with about, I would say, easily like hundreds of other of these boats in the far distance and everybody just kind of relaxing in the middle of this lake. So guys, apparently over there, we also have uh, rice farms. So the rice that we had, the Kerala rice, also is grown all across these kind of uh, small islands just here. So actually people are living there. Look at those small houses oh right God. there. It's that, crazy. That is one of the cool things here. Is imagine, uh, find imagine just living there. Literally, it's like a small, uh, small wow. island. So this is someone's house. Yeah, someone's house. There, yeah. Yeah. So let me know in the comments, my friends, if uh, you guys would also live in on an island where you just have a small canoe boat away from all the hustle and bustle. If you do, drop a comment in the comment section with just you know the canoe emoji and then i'll know the answer also whilst you're here don't forget to subscribe guys because it really really does help with the videos and also my channel so i can make more and more videos for you guys we had what well, i had to change into a vest because my top was literally soaked and rule 101 in hot humid countries don't wear cotton always wear dry fit can confirm yeah but I had none left I need to wash them tonight so now we're literally just uh, parking up here next to this forest area and we're literally gonna get our drones up and get some beautiful drone shots of this forest we have just docked up here quickly it's super windy and we're about to fly our drones Ollie's gonna fly his I'm about to fly mine which is just there but uh, yeah it's gonna be a windy one you want to go first uh, I mean this is probably the windiest takeoff I've ever taken off with this drone, so yeah. we will find out. Yeah. You want to go first? I guess so. Okay. Moment of truth. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard All The Story Airlines. Today <laughs> we're going to be having some uh, turbulent conditions, but today we are here in the beautiful region of Kerala, India. So welcome aboard, enjoy your snacks and buy overpriced peanuts. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, so Guys, here we are. Me and Oli are currently flying our drones. <laughs> We've got mine, mine just here. Oli, I don't know where he is. So that's it. Drone has officially been flown, and the sun is currently setting just to my left over there. And uh, very relaxing vibe. Yeah. 
So sometimes you can stop off on these islands like this and just kind of relax. Uh, there's not much going on like on this one, but there's just kind of like a, I would say, footpath area where you can just take it all in, as in uh, all the Kerala beauty. Connolly. I am, all right. Let's go one hand, uh, one hand on the boat. Here we go. Yeah. Ollie, we're gonna leave you. Bye. All right, all right, bye, bye. Let's go, quick, quick, go. Leave him here. No. Leave him. No. Leave him. No, I want to join. <laughs> there we go. Seems like we've got some water shops as well. This guy's saying, can we get one? This guy, this old guy is selling ice cream on a boat. How cool is that? So Oli, how's your experience been so far? It's been really good. I'm really happy that we uh, went so late in the day. Uh, a little bit disappointed that we didn't go to the market. Yeah. Uh, it would have been cool to stop somewhere. But um, So I guess for you guys, if you're planning on doing this, I would highly recommend going a little bit earlier in the day. Like Even if it's going to be hot, then you will have more time. But at the same time, it's been really good. And uh, I've loved it so far. Yeah, great experience. I've kind of forgot yeah. which country I'm in. Yes, like, exactly. I feel like I'm in, I don't even know where I am anymore. Like usually with India, you correlate being hectic, busy, exactly. but this is anything but that. This it's is just pure vibes. Like you're literally yeah. on a boat in the middle of the jungle, like secluded. And right now, it feels like it's just us and nobody else. Ready for tea, Ollie? I am indeed. Yeah, a cup of tea. You want a cup of tea, mate? Cup of tea. Like British. Proper British. Yeah. So this is coffee. All right. All right, let's give the coffee a taste. It's a bit nice and milky, which is how I like it. There you go. Mmm, that's good. Look at this, my friends. We have got a coffee in hand in the midst of Kerala, India, in the jungle, on this boat. I mean, guys, can life get any better than this? And I think this is also a great time to talk to you guys a little bit about a little announcement that I've got. Well, some people may know it, some people may not. However, I am currently running my one-on-one -on -one coaching program where I'm basically teaching uh, individuals like content creators and travel vloggers around the world that also want to do the same thing that I'm doing, travel the world, see beautiful destinations like Kerala, India, and all the other destinations you guys are seeing on my Instagram. Now, if this is something that you guys want to do and you're also a aspiring content creator, a travel vlogger, then my program restarts this summer and all you literally have to do is contact me on my Instagram, which is just there and send me a message that you're interested and me and my team will get in touch with you and we'll set up a one-on-one -on -one phone call uh, or probably over a zoom where i'll do an interview call with you guys to see if you're going to be a great fit for the program it's going to be four weeks where i help you every where i help every part of your content creation journey and mr ollie is also a uh, almost like a product shall i say there you go hello, hello a product of the coaching program he joined one year ago and I mean, how's your experience been? <laughs> My key takeaway from the program has been uh, having someone to push you there because like sometimes you know exactly what you need to do, but having someone who is further ahead in the journey, just saying like, do this and keep pushing on that thing is gonna help propel you so far. And especially sometimes um, someone pointing out what are your blind spots as well. Because sometimes people are never gonna tell you the honest truth Dad told me quite, what I needed to know. Well, quite raw and honest, yeah. <laughs> I mean, this is the thing, end of the day, like your friends and family may tell you that you're doing the right thing. But they're only saying that because they care and they don't want to hurt your feelings. But I'm not saying that I'm going to hurt your feelings, but sometimes you just have to be brutally honest with someone. If your content is not good enough, you've got to say why it's not good enough. Don't just say, okay, it's crap or it's not good. How can we help improve certain areas? So anyway, not going to go into it too much, guys, but Oli now is almost living his life of luxury and freedom, traveling the world. Let's go lives in Bali, Indonesia, which is like the dream land for most people in the world. So anyway, if this is interest to you guys, just drop a comment on my Instagram and I'll be in touch on how you can um, sign up to the coaching program. We've got some fellow boat people. Hello. Hi. Hi. Where are you from? Hyderabad. Hyderabad. Wow. Nice to meet you. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Yeah, adventures and Ole stories. He's never gonna hear that. Oh, 
So guys, the way people confirm things here in uh, India is, <laughs> yes. It's a uh, right, uh, see you? Uh, this means good. Yeah, it's, good. it's like this. But even if you don't say, it's, it, everybody say, everybody say like this. So you ask a question, and then you say, "Is uh, can I go here today?" Even if you say no, you say no. If you say yes, it's yes. Yes, no. Yes, no. Is it no? Yes. Guys, yes, no. well, me and Oli have found ourselves, and we just like talk to each other, and we'll ask each other a question. And I'm like, "Hey, Oli, you having a good day?" And he's like, "Yeah, not bad." Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Very good. yeah we're gonna call ourselves the Shaking Heads. <laughs> and I think the thing is like if you stay here a little bit longer as well, it's gonna happen. Yeah. It happened like after staying here about day six, I think. Yeah. It happened the first time consciously, so before you know it. Well my friends, uh, as we are winding down, we are slowly uh, edging back towards base. We have got uh, some nice coffee here just to get the energy levels up. And we got uh Siju here just have you enjoyed the experience? Yeah, it's very nice. Very, very nice. Good. Yeah. I'm happy for <laughs> How many times have you done this before? Like hundred? Many times. Many times. Hundred. More, more than hundred. Wow. <laughs> wow. More than a hundred times on this boat. Maybe. Twenty years I have experienced to drive. Oh, twenty years. Yeah. Oh my God. It's a professional. <laughs> so you're gonna have to one day buy your own boat. Yeah. We're so gonna call it the <laughs> Siju boat. Yeah. Because Siju's boat. Yeah. <laughs> coming to it's my own. Yeah. Boat. Next time. Yeah. Exactly. When we come back. You're going to be the captain. Yeah. You're going to ride it, yeah? <laughs> okay, so guys, we've just found a sound system here towards the end of the trip, and we're going to play some tunes. Let's see if it works. Uh, copyright free ones. Yeah. <laughs> just get epidemic on. Yeah. That's exactly what we're going to do. Uh, source. Right, let's, see if we can get, let's see if we can get some. DJ Adventure and and they filter. We got some tunes playing. Come on, dance, dance, Ali. Really. <laughs> some Indian dancing. Hey, come on, Siju, give us some Indian dancing. Let's go. <laughs> we got some tunes playing in the background. We got the sunset on. Oh. What's going on? Bad reception. Oh, hey, oh, oh, he's oh. doing the worm. Hey, hey. Yeah, they've got a sunset. Look at that, my friends. We are riding inside the sunset. <laughs> What's Ali doing? I've caught him red handed. Do that again, Ali. <laughs> We're doing a little. It's been a while. <laughs> Come on, do it, son. Do it, I dare ya. Ah, Triple no. dare ya. No. <laughs> Hold on. Guys, this is what content creators do to have fun. Ollie's gonna show you now. Ready? Yes. Hold it. You okay. got it? I got it. I'll be back. Alright. Behind the scenes. Let's go. How are you doing? Oh, yeah. <laughs> There we go. Oh, party, party! Hey! 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 Woo! That was hilarious. Let's go! Woo! Room tour, room tour, room tour. Room tour. <laughs> I guess I'm going back here. Two cameras, hello! <laughs> Let's go! Two cameras! <laughs> wow. Hey! Hello, hello. <laughs> hey! Wow. Now that is a tour right there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Somehow we found a way to get windy on this small boat. That's how to have fun, my friend. Here we are, guys. We've now got the Bluetooth finally working. Hopefully YouTube does not demonetize me because I'm not going to put too much of this with the music in the back. But Ole, good experience. Oh, yes. We got Siju, there. good experience. Yes, yeah, very good. Let's go. Uh, Captain, good. Everybody good? Yeah. Cello. Let's go. Hey, Ole, are you going to jump? Don't jump. Don't do it. There he is. Oh, yes. Literally, guys, doesn't matter whether you're on a boat. Hey! Hey! 
<laughs> subscribe! <laughs>
our curry dish. So here is my chicken masala uh, dish. I actually didn't realize that it was going to come in a curry form. I was hoping for it to be a little bit more on kind of the char grilled side, just kind of a little bit of sauce, but nonetheless, I'm sure it's going to be so delicious. And here we also have the garlic bread. There it is. Look at that. Very, very crunchy. So, so good. It's definitely the best garlic bread I've ever had in the world. It's in this restaurant. So, there we go. Oh, look at that thick gravy. Super nice. Oh, let's give that a taste. Mm. It's just heavenly, guys. A little bit spicy. Mm. This one has a kick to it. Oh. Oh. Indian food is definitely my favorite food in the world. And then second is Taiwanese. But Taiwanese is coming close to beating Indian. Uh, so far, Indian is still number one. The uh, main meal is finished, and now I have something which is called kofi. Kofi, I believe, is like an Indian type of ice cream, but it tastes very, very kofi. Kofi means delicious, I think. There we go. It's like a thick consistency. It's a bit. It is ice cream, but it's got a little bit more of a thick consistency. Mm. It's very, very hard to describe what the flavors are. It's like very milky and milk sweet with some herbs in there, like herby, spicy. But it's not, it's not what you think. Not like spicy, but best way to describe it is just milky, a thick milk with some Indian twist. That's what kulfi is. Like I don't know. Let me know in the comments, guys, what is inside of it. Maybe you can shed some light. But this has got a cherry here. Mmm. Oh yeah. Mmm. Delicious. And that's a cherry on top. So the bill has officially come and this is our third day here in the restaurant. And this is the first time my bill is below a thousand. Because I didn't eat too much today. So it's 620 Indian rupees, which is about six British pounds. And I'll just show you here on my uh, exchange. And I think that's quite reasonable because I had a dessert, main, um, yeah, dessert and a main for six pounds. I mean, you can't go wrong. That's what I love about India. Very affordable. So anyway, guys, I think this is a great place to end the video today. I hope you enjoyed our adventures on the boat and this meal because we had a great time. And if you did, as always, don't forget to like and subscribe to the video. And we'll see you on the next adventure here in the beautiful country of India. Good night.